beautiful day today in eastern Pennsylvania, and today we're at Reading BMW to uh, assist a customer with the delivery of his M2 BMW. We're going to do a pre-delivery inspection, and we'll temporarily throw something on the front uh, or the most vulnerable areas uh, where paint can chip to get it back to the shop uh, in perfect condition and get it protected. Uh, a real wonderful establishment here. Uh, the staff is friendly and hospitable and were nice enough to let me record some footage on the property. Uh, I really want to thank uh, BMW of, of Reading for their just um, friendliness and courtesy and we're going to bring the car around back and start the inspection. So this has been a bit of a journey, a bit of a wait for this particular customer, but that seems to be commonplace nowadays, waiting almost a year for your ordered vehicle. Uh, we have the Brooklyn gray color uh, on this M2 BMW and uh, a beautiful spec. And we're going to start the inspection process. This is a service that we include in packages of protection for our customers where we meet them at the dealership and assist them with the inspection pre-delivery take of their vehicle. Often when you're buying a new vehicle, you're in awe at first and um, a little bit uh, overwhelmed and, and have a hard time taking in the whole picture and concentrating on some small details that you could overlook and that's where I come in and I will assist in the process. The first thing I like to do is get measurements on every panel, a few measurements, and that will tell me a story. Has there been a little bit of damage from shipping and uh, uh, maybe the body shop got a hold of it and did some light repairs? That's perfectly fine as long as it's relayed to the customer. Sometimes it's not and um, this uh, instrument here will let us know if each panel or any panel has been resprayed or repaired. And what I'm looking for is uh, measurements between four and a half and five and a half mils for this make, this year, and this model. So everything's looking good. No resprays and no repairs, uh, quick repairs done to any of the panels. The next thing I like to do is just inspect the paint in general, dust nibs, overspray, curtains or runs, fibers or hairs in the paint, texture or waviness. And once again, everything looking good, uh, especially on the exterior part of the car. I like to go into the jams, look for tape marks over spray, or any defects in the paint as well. Also under the hood, in the trunk area, anywhere there's painted surfaces. Under the hood, it's fully painted. So if the customer wants and it's in the budget for the package, we will polish and we will either coat and protect uh, those areas in any way that the customer deems necessary. I also like to pay attention as we open and close the hood trunk, all the doors, gas cap, anything that opens and closes. Take for instance the hood here. The passenger side easily catches on this double latch system. The driver's side needs a bit of pressure and I'll pass that along to the customer. And any information that's passed along to them, they can do absolutely anything they want with that. Um, we're not here to bash a dealership, a manufacturer, a make, a model, or a year. We're just here to make sure the customer receives his property which he's really paying a, a, a pretty penny for these days in the condition that he expects it and that's what we're here for today we're checking to make sure all of the plastic caps uh, the rubber alignment stops the weather stripping everything is properly secure and in place Time for another trip around the vehicle, and this time we're looking for alignment, any alignment gaps or misalignment, making sure everything is secure. 
If you've been watching the series on uh, the pre-delivery inspections, you've seen some of the nightmares we've come across or some of the small issues that we've come across anyway. This one here is one of the better vehicles that we've seen so far when it comes to uh, alignment, gaps, any issues at all, just some minor uh, alignment issues. You'll see a shadow on the bumper from the fender as there's a little bit of an alignment, um, maybe some shims for the plastic bumper. On the other side, it's a little bit more prominent, but no huge issue here. Something like this can easily be taken care of if the customer wishes to pass it along to the dealership. I've seen one of three ways. First of all, I've seen a car be pulled right back into the service bay area and the issue addressed right then and there, and the paperwork continues. I've also seen future appointments, uh, maybe with an attached body shop a couple weeks down the road, uh, or I've seen uh, some credits. Uh, so there's many ways to address the issue. A really neat accent to the color. Uh, they have carbon fiber on the roof, and that all looks fantastic. Sometimes, uh, especially on a hood or a lord, large panel, you'll see a seam where they put the carbon fiber together. We also check the headlights, taillights, parking light, and trim to make sure they're secure and not loose. You'd be surprised how many times I've come across a small piece of trim or maybe even a small parking light that is not entirely secure anyways and has a little bit of a wiggle to it. We will also check the wheels. We've found curb rash, very minor curb rash on a few vehicles. Some chips on the calipers from putting the wheels on. Um, there are some issues you can come across when it comes to wheels and calipers. And there eventually has to come a time where we have to work our way inside the vehicle and we'll check the rubber grommets and seals, the door panel and all the trim. We get to the seats where we can check the stitching and the piping and the bolsters and the leather or vinyl or cloth in general and make sure the seat is fully functional. Another thing to check the sills, if the delivery person truck driver or the sales crew um, are not mindful. Sometimes the door sills or the steering wheel or the trim uh, on the center console, the shift knob, the buttons can get uh, a little damaged from maybe jewelry or just wear and tear of getting in and out, in and out moving the vehicle around to and fro. Uh, this dealership here is very mindful of that, no issues whatsoever. The M2 here is in relatively great shape, and I believe we're soon ready to go. Okay, everything looks A-OK. -okay. You ready to do the paperwork? Yeah, absolutely, Brian. I can't thank you enough for coming down here with me. And, uh, you know, I would have been googly-eyed over this thing. And fortunately, you found nothing at all, but uh, you looked in places that I wouldn't have. So I can't thank you enough for that. Thank my you, pleasure, my pleasure. Let's get this done, take it back to the shop, and protect it. The customer is on his way back into the dealership to complete the paperwork and in the meantime I can grab my scraps of PPF or paint protection film. These are leftover uh, pieces that we had from custom installs. I always save them and include them in the packages for our customers where we can meet them at the dealership or during delivery and just quickly uh, you know attach these to the most vulnerable areas of the vehicle to get it back to the shop. As you can see, it gets back to the shop unscathed and perfect because of the sacrificial PPF we lended to this project. So we waste no time. The customer has already waited a long period of time to get his consignment. We don't wanna let the customer wait any longer. 
when it comes to these deliveries, as long as the customer keeps in contact with us, keeps us in the loop with delivery, we will bring the vehicle back to the shop and have a time slot available to jump right on it, get it protected, so the customer can finally enjoy it with the peace of mind that it's protected and not have to worry about that first rock chip. So I'll give you a little taste of, you know, the first couple hours uh, at the shop. It's going to be a full decon uh, with the wash process. It doesn't matter if a car is brand new. It's never perfect. It always needs some sort of cleaning and decon and a little bit of correction. And then the protection starts rather quickly. By the way, we would do this anyway. It doesn't matter what the package is, but especially with coatings and even more especially with films, we pay attention to the cracks and crevices, especially up front between the panels. Uh, dirt always likes to hide in there, and it always likes to flush itself back out, especially if you're doing film and get into the film. So we really take our time during the wash process using the pressure washer. Get in there, scrub those areas, and pressure wash those tight areas out flushing them of any contaminants. We are now squeaky clean. And we're ready to bring it in the shop, do an inspection, do any spot correction when it comes to the paint. And after a little bit of polishing, it's time for the film. The film goes on first, guys. That's before anything. So after the correction and we get the paint where we want it, we get the film on there, and then the coating goes on top of that. Okay, so first piece of many, the hood is now complete. Uh, this is getting a track pack along with uh, some coatings. And the track pack is everything from the windshield forward, including the bumper, all the trim, the headlight, driving lights, if it would have some, the fenders, uh, the hood, and also the lower doors and rocker panels. So it's protected from everything in front of it, and then also from its own wheels and tires. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you in the next video.